Hello out there. This is Terry at Crown with Heavy Duty Powertrain. And uh, this is a special video I'm going to make to go out to the uh, Bruce, Cret, and family. <laughs> I've been working with Bruce, trying to get his truck straightened out over the phone and uh, working hard with Scott and and uh, and he sent me an email and said that uh, that I've got an audience out there I like that so um, I think everything is gonna go fine for you Bruce and um, you did mention in the email that you had a hard starting problem to begin with so <clears throat> that can be caused from two different things uh, that I that I'm aware of between the electronics and the actual fuel system. So uh, since you got the ECM off this uh, cooler plate here, ECM bolts to the bottom of that, and as you notice, you got two ports here for fuel. So the fuel circulates through here, and a lot of times on this side or the pumps on the other side here uh, they put a right angle fitting here and in that fitting they put a check valve so uh, you want to um, not necessarily have to take the plate off but uh, it's really a good idea to blow through it and make sure you haven't got any garbage in here I've had guys tell me plastic and debris and it stops the flow of it and plus you got a usually a check valve here you know on this uh, fitting between that and the pump and the actual pump uh, fuel pump on the top of it by the by the solenoid it's got a cap screw on it about a half inch five eight something like that three quarter and if you take it out there's a little screen in there and that can also get plugged up so Good time to check this for cleanliness and uh, check valves working right, no debris in it. Uh, where this comes from, if, <clears throat> if you start losing uh, prime, you'll have every time you start it, you got to prime it up to make it work. And it's really important in that first boost that when you're cranking, that you get a good shot of fuel into the cylinder and if you don't then it pretty much uh, just dribbles out and the engine doesn't get that first shot so also on that note <clears throat> look at your filtering system and uh, between this and the fuel tank you want to kind of look at your filtering system and make sure you got some kind of a trash filter uh, that goes from the tank to the filter and then into here and then out and then maybe to a primary or a secondary filter and uh, on it goes. So we're running into some trucks that uh, uh, do not have any type of uh, trash fill or rake or something in between the tank and the cooler plate or it's routed differently and the raw fuel from the tank comes right in here and that's what causes you guys all these problems when it gets plugged up it causes problems with the flow of the fuel but <clears throat> also the fuel stops circulating and everything really gets hot on here and these plates will actually if they get too hot they'll warp and expand out like half twice the thickness and then you got all kinds of problems in here so, on that note, just uh, let me know or if Scott's got some more problems and, uh, you know, but I would definitely check that out and make sure that your fuel system's cleaned out and flowing good there. So, at any rate, appreciate your patronage and glad I can help and, um, and uh, hi to all you kids. <laughs> This is Uncle Terry signing out.